Hi guys, welcome to Bream Time. Normally on this channel I show you underwater footage of my Bream and Tench fishing sessions. However, as I get a lot of questions about particles and how I prepare them, I've decided to make a video about the four ways I used. So what are we talking about when we talk about particles? Well, that can be a number of things. It might be corn, chickpeas, different kinds of beans, hemp is always a great option, yellow peas, or just plain wheat. My personal favorite when it comes to particle would probably be corn and I'll come back and explain just why a bit later in this video. You prepare your particles mainly for two reasons. First and most important is to protect the fish. Giving the fish unprepared particles might actually kill them. A second reason is that the particles really contain a lot of flavors that you want to use. So preparing your particles makes your fishing much more efficient. The first way of preparing your particles is what I call the short cook. If you watch the videos here on YouTube, for example, that is quite often re recommended. Uh, I think we've all done this at some point. Uh, I do it myself from time to time, but but it certainly isn't the best way. Okay, so here we have one of my two boxes of unprepared particles. In this box I have a little bit of everything. Um, the basis of this is wheat and to that I add anything and everything I can get hold of relatively cheap. Uh, most of this cheap stuff I buy in the springtime, they are bird seeds that different kind of shops sell out during the springtime. Right now I have a little bit of everything, peanuts, wheat, uh, a lot of hemp, you might not see that, but uh, you have a lot of hemp seeds here. Yellow peas, those came from my wife, she got tired of them, I took care of them right away. An odd boilie, should be there, but uh, things happen. So this is one of the boxes I use. I have another one, I'll show that to you later in the video. So the first and probably easiest way to prepare your particles is the short cook. For those occasions that I do that, I have a 5 liter saucepan. To that I mix uh, half of should be particles, the rest should be water. I let it soak for 12 to 24 hours. Uh, longer is better in my opinion, shorter is okay. So I have to move so fast, baby I will show you how you can catch my vibe. And right away I so much time looping in the blurry lights. You don't have to put additional flavorings to your particles if you don't want to, but uh, sometimes I do that. And that all depends on what kind of hook bait I want to use. There are two broad categories of boilie. Either they are based on seafood or some sweet or fruity flavoring. So if I want to go sweet, I add some sweetness to my particles. Or if I want to do a seafood based boilie, I add some seafood flavorings. 
If you want to go sweet, you have lots of different options. The main alternative would probably be white sugar, but you can also use honey syrup and lots of different things. If you want to do fruity, you can add any kind of fruit juice. My personal favorite would be strawberry juice. So here you have two options for the seafood alternative. The quick fix is fish broth. You can buy it on any food market, but you can also use some real seafood. These are crayfish that are too old for eating, uh, even better for fishing. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Okay, 24 hours later. It's time to do some cooking. So, this is the result that you get from the short cook. Uh, I've let it cool off. I've added some water because uh, this will continue to swell uh, even after the temperature has gone down. Fresh particles. Uh, the flavors are not so rich, but uh, it's, a, it's obviously a very practical way of, of doing particles. It might be practical, but you don't get the most out of your particles in this way. Okay, over to the next method. This is what I call the fermentation bucket. For this you need a bucket with a lid, same particles, water. However, in this one I want to add some corn, so I have corn here, mix it, give it a stir. lid on and after that I find the warmest spot I can find uh, a spot in the Sun to develop in the right way it's better for it to be as warm as possible so somewhere in the Sun I let it stay there for a week The tricky thing with the fermentation bucket is that two things might happen. Either it goes the right way and you get a fermentation process, or if it goes the wrong way you get rotten particles. Rottening particles is not necessarily a bad thing, but if you aim for fermentation, you want fermentation. The key for a fermentation bucket to work is that the lid is really tight, so no oxygen gets into the particles. Okay, let's check this out. Okay, so here we are. Um, it's been 10 or 11 days. Uh, I've had it in the sun. It's been nice and warm. Uh, some days I've seen it kind of gets bold, other days it's kind of flat. So I'm sure uh, something has happened. I haven't had a look, so I don't know what, what to expect really. Uh, not too bad actually, it's uh, kind of a 
sour flavor to it. It doesn't stink by any means. Uh, this option is obviously great if you do want to do large quantities of particles. Okay, so this is the cooler box. You need one cooler box. Same procedure, particles. And to that you add boiling water. After which you put the lid on. You can let this wait for two days. That's the quick version. You can also let it wait for five to seven days if you want a spicier mix. This one I will put on a cool place. I don't want, I want the heat in the, from the water to be kept as long as possible then in just standard temperature roughly 20 degrees is perfect. Okay, so here we have the two-day version of the cooler box. Uh, you have fresh and very nice particles uh, compared in comparison this is a lot like the short cook uh, the particles might swell a little bit less than with the short cook but um, still a very fresh and nice alternative and uh, this is a better option if you want to do if you have the time or if you want to uh, do loads of particles so in essence you have three ways to go with your particles either you can do like this the two-day version of a cooler box or as in the short cook or long cook give them to the fish quite fresh the second alternative you have is as in the fermentation bucket that you give them fermented particles. The last option you have is to serve the fish rotten particles. That might not sound so nice, but the fish really loves it and you can't get any stronger flavoring to your particles. I can guarantee you that. So what I'm going to do with this one is to put the lid back on let it wait for another week and see what happens. Okay, so here we have the cooler box again. Now it's been in the cooler box for another week roughly. Um, I've had a couple of sneak peeks, but, uh, and I know that stuff has happened here. It's a, a very strong flavor to this one. It's like a, yeah, it, it just stinks. Uh, the fish loves it. Uh, my wife hates it. Uh, I know that it do great in the swim. Otherwise I would keep this one at distance. There's a reason that I couldn't keep this one in the outhouse for more than a, a week and the simple answer is that this really stinks. But, but the fish loves it so I mean what can you do? Okay, so now we're ready for the last way of preparing particles that I use and this is by far my favorite. Here you have my second box. This is the only thing I have in this one is corn because 
to me, corn is the best particle. Its sweetness, its color, it contains both small and pieces and bigger pieces. It's got a little bit of everything in it. So uh, I often buy corn in 25 kilo bags, as you see yourself. This, this bag is almost finished. But what I prefer to do is, instead of the short boil, I boil it much longer for two to three hours. Uh, I'll show you in a second the advantages with that. So, again, particles. Ooh, it's almost empty. To that, I add one of this stuff. Looks good. To that I add some molasses. I fill it up with water. I let this soak for at least 12 hours overnight uh, but quite often this can be soaking for two or three days uh, I always have uh, one of these soaking so whenever I need the next load I just put it on the stove okay so this is the result that you get from letting the particles boil for roughly two and a half hours in this case. Uh, the advantages in my opinion are two. First of all, the flavorings are so much richer from this alternative than the short, the quicker cook. Uh, the other thing that is should be noted is that you get this corn slash particle syrup that is really useful. You can put it directly into your ground bait. You can also do your own dips and glugs out of this using this as a base and adding different kinds of flavorings to it, depending obviously on your bait of choice. Okay, so how do I choose between these methods? To summarize, we had four methods. We had the short cook, we had the fermentation bucket, we had the cooler box, and we had the long cook. In addition, you can do three things to your particles. You can give them to the fish fresh, fermented, or rotten. So when do I use the short cook? Well, to be honest, only when time is limited. If I have other alternatives, uh, I do the other alternatives, regardless of what that is. But it comes times when you haven't had time to prepare your particles. You realize the day before that you really need some more particles. Then I go for the short cook. I'm thinking you were made for me. It's in my birthday, because yeah, I gotta say The fermentation bucket and the cooler box. Well, I go for those alternatives when I really need a lot of particles. If I need a lot of particles and have time, I do the fermentation bucket. If I don't have a week or so, I go for the cooler box. And last but not least, the long cook. This is my main alternative. Uh, I use that pretty much all the time. I think it's practical. I think the uh, flavorings are phenomenal. I can't say that I catch more from this, but I'm much more confident when I use the long cook than the other alternatives. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got the system, my favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. Okay, so how do I choose between fresh, fermented or rotten? My go-to version is fresh, uh, mainly because it's more practical. Rotten or fermented? Uh, I think of those alternatives in terms of distances. If I want to attract the fish from a long distance, 
I go for rotten. If I think that the fish are there and my pre-baiting is more about get them going, I would go for fermented. So I use rotten particles early in the pre-baiting campaign because then I probably don't know if the fish are there. I want to be sure that there is a lot of scent in the water so it really attracts the fish. And I know that rotten particles, nothing beats a rotten particles when it comes to attracting fish from a long distance. Okay, that's what I had to say about particles. Now I'm going to focus on some fishing instead. See you in the next one.